Hi my loves and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. This is Gypsy Capital Tarot. I am a psychic medium oracle and a prophetess, you guys. So welcome, welcome my loves. This is going to be a collective message for Aries, for the beautiful Aries. So welcome, welcome my beautiful Aries. Sorry. <laughs> Oh gosh, my throat. I had to swallow real quick. I feel like someone keeps getting caught on their words for you. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a counterpart. This could be you, Aries. Okay, but I feel like you're more like the Queen of Wands right now. You guys are very fiery at this time. I'm going to keep him out actually. Okay, because he is a counterpart and he showed right up. I'm hearing a disconnect. Disconnect the phone. Back in the day when we all still had like, you know, landlines, I'm seeing someone like unplug like from the little like thing, like the little clip, like unplugging the phone. So so there's no um, service. It's a little immature, this action that they're doing. So we see here that your person, whoever that you're, and then the death card, so this is you, my loves, as well, because you guys have gone through a lot of um, transformation and change and things like that, right? But like I said, you guys are the queen of wands where you guys are very uh, multifaceted, you're magical, you're sexy, you're looking good right now, um, you're fiery, you're magnetic, you're creative, innovative, like you're all these things, um, but you're like the that feminine energy i can feel the majority of you guys watching this whether you're a man or woman i feel it you're more of like that queen of wands energy so for some of you guys that whole phone analogy maybe you blocked this person out maybe you know you disconnected them from your life okay because they were acting like all flighty this person couldn't be trusted with your heart at the time see and then you have the ace of cups the death card because someone's gone through a rebirth their heart chakra is now very active okay there's been heart healing here this is healed this is healed this is a new beginning in love or an emotional new beginning it brings forth emotions lots of uh, overflowing abundance um this is also something that you intuitively have seen or felt coming look at this look who's hiding right after the death card you my loves holy shit look at this look at that aries there you are i told you and then the ace of pentacles see you were like no you're not gonna do this to me i know i know who i am i'm confident i'm 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 successful i'm good looking i'm i'm all these things i'm hearing funny you guys are funny You guys radiate like a beautiful energy. You guys radiate all this energy outwards, right? So many people want to date you and court you, offer you the Ace of Pentacles here. But this king, your counterpart here, okay, could be dealing with, a, you know, you could resonate as a twin flame or, you know, this could just be like a past life, a deep past life connection with someone that you, you, you met and it was instant. But this king was in a lower vibration still as the knight. And this rebirth, this death of the ego. I'm hearing the cat's meow. They think you are the cat's meow. Now what I'm also getting is this king of wands didn't know what to do with himself because he met his match because he always thought he was the cat's meow. See all the lions on your thrones? The cat's meow, but you see, you're the actual cat's meow. You have the actual cat here. You're very independent. Some of you guys could be witches. Like, you know, you could actually uh, dabble with, you know, magic and spell work and things like that. Eight of wands when I split the deck. Very um, direct forward communication. It's also travel. Someone traveling possibly from a long distance, uh, you know, via airplane, air travel. This could also be someone mailing you something, maybe a love letter. I don't know. Seven of Swords just flipped out in my hand as I was shuffling.
this person wants to do something sweet for you. My loves, they feel like you are the bee's knees. This person could be leaving behind all of their, you know, deceptive behaviors. Yeah, they're definitely leaving behind all their deceptive behaviors. They've been sitting at a crossroads in decision about this for a while. They've been wanting to reach out to you for a while. They've been wanting to come forward for a while. Universe wouldn't let them. Spirit wouldn't let them. Their intuition would not let them. Their higher self, right? Everything inside of them wants you, wanted you, has wanted you, but it wouldn't let them come forward. They stayed blocked and hidden while they thought and planned. They view you as a wish fulfillment. They've been very confused. What I'm hearing is that they're sorry they didn't see it. It's like, if I knew then what I knew now, but it just had to happen the way that it did for you guys, whatever your stories are. This is someone who's coming in to claim victory. You're about to receive a wish fulfillment. This, this connection is a wish fulfillment. You guys, I mean, there's so much yellow and sun and fire and, and emotion here. See, this person has been in planning mode for a while. I'm hearing strategizing. <laughs> Yep, Knight of Pentacles. There's the timing. There's the for a while. It's been a long time. Long time coming. Let's do some Romance Angels real quick. Spirit, please show me for the highest and greatest good of Aries, please. I'm hearing... Take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama. So take me home. So this person is like, you're, you're my home, you're my son, you're my bliss, you're my happiness. You fulfill me. This person had a hard childhood for some of them. And they hid behind their ego. I'm getting that very strongly. I'm, I'm seeing like maybe they were abused or they witnessed, you know, um, maybe domestic violence, you know, within their own home dynamic growing up. But I am seeing, yeah, see, it gave them trust issues. They really didn't trust love. They did not trust love. This King of Wands did not trust love. They certainly didn't trust you when they met you. They didn't trust themselves. How could they trust someone? They didn't trust themselves. Okay. All right, so Spirit, please show me for, for the beautiful Aries, please. For the beautiful Aries. I keep hearing Sagittarius, you guys, so I'm sorry if I accidentally said Sagittarius. Oh, my gosh. Unrequited. Unrequited. Bottom of the deck is keep an open mind. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. There's so much attraction and chemistry. That's all there is here. I mean, there's everything, but you guys know what I mean. This person was someone who never fell in love. Not really. Not until they met you, the Queen of Wands. This person was shut off. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. You blew the lid off of everything. You changed everything. This person could not ignore the fact that they love you. See, they had to let go of all the control. They're so used to being in control. This person is also very creative and innovative and you know, charismatic. I feel like you brought this person back to life on a lot of levels with the sun. Finances and career. Something about the way that you love yourself, the way that you're successful, the way that you're independent, right? The way that you're so confident and courageous. Very brave is what I'm getting. Very brave. 
I feel like this person also was having some um, ego issues, possibly with some of you guys, with, with how much money you did make or your success or your levels of success. Or for some of you guys, maybe you're famous in the spotlight somehow with the sun. Maybe you get a lot of exposure online or, you know, on TV. And they were very, something about your career it intimidated them. They weren't sure. And then calling in your soulmate. But they they felt this pull and this call towards you the whole time. It was attraction. The law of attraction. It was destined attraction. This person is so deeply attracted to you. They want to marry you. They want to take things to the next level. They want to propose to you. Spend time with you. Love you. And reconcile. There's a reconciliation here. Whether it's like your first time like coming together or you know what I mean? It's past life or it's it's you guys coming together. And there's a lot of passion. And it's and it's all about timing. This is divine timing. You guys had to go through some kind of healing, awakenings. It is safe for you to love. It's safe. This person feels now it's the time. Something about the time. And I'm telling you, you guys, this person wants to have children with you. They view you as a mother or a father. Okay. So, <clears throat> all right, we got tarot. We got romance angels. Where are we at? 11 minutes. Um, I'm like, what do I want to do? Let's do some psychic tarot. No, no, no. Let's do some intuit oracle. Let's do some intuit oracle. All right, spirit, for the highest and greatest good of Aries. I feel like this person is really shameful. They're really shameful of, you know, the side of themselves that they showed you in the past. You know, I'm hearing Mark Anthony's, you know, I didn't see it. I can't believe it. Oh, but I feel it. Oh, she's saying to me. Um... All the while, I, da, 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 I never realized. See, we have more Leo coming out. You could be dealing with a Leo. Okay. A lot of fire here. Yep, definitely a lot of fire. The bellows. This is what you use to get a fire going, yeah? You air it, right? It's a catalyst. You ignite it, right? Effort is required here. This person is willing to put in effort. You know, this is someone, it sounds like, that is really used to just having people come to them they get things their way, everyone, right? It's real easy for them to get partners and have sex. And Leo showing up with strength. They lack their own inner strength. They really did. They may come off as a strong person, but their heart was not strong. Their mind was not strong in so many ways. Remember the inner child that I said. This is the start of a whole new season. Cardinal first is be a cardinal sign okay like you guys and then yes take inspired action the king of wands takes takes inspired action he takes action so does she all right what else what else for aries oh third person something could have happened in the past year where there was a third person they had to walk away from a third person that could have been the side of them that they didn't like, that they showed you. I don't know. But there definitely was a third wheel here, okay? This person's uh, ego could show up as a third party too because of how, you know, how much they love themselves in the past or lack thereof, per se. Yep, this person was showing up as the magician and the snake just flew out way over here on the ground. Seven and two is nine. So this person was definitely in their sneaky way. They were toxic. They were lying. They were deceptive. That's part of this person's hesitation, I believe. The snowflake is showing up here, and it's another nine. So seven and two is nine. So you have nine, nine. Right after this third party, 18, which is 9-9, nine, nine, the snowflake. This person is nervous as all hell because they feel like they fudged up with you. They feel like they're not crazy. They feel like 
they feel what you feel and that you guys both feel it and it's all the things, right? But this person feels like they fudged up with you in the past. They showed you toxicity, deception, betrayal in whatever shape or form. They were trying to control everything. Even after recognizing you, right, and, 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 and feeling what they felt for you, they looked at you like a snowflake, exquisite, unique, detailed, beautiful, perfect, and one of a kind, one of a kind. There's only one counterpart. They were a stalemate, okay? They were non-committal, like I said. They played games. And now they want a second chance. They want a do-over. They feel like you guys belong together. 36 breaks down to another nine, 999. Nine, nine. This is a destined connection. Now, you always have free will, obviously, but this is destiny. Look, you have the masculine coming up with the sun. It says big fat yes. <laughs> you have 31 and 13. Look at the play on numbers with those two. New beginnings. I talked about pregnancy. Look at this. Birth, child, new, new perspective, fresh energy. You know how I was saying creativity and all that? It says creativity on this card here. Someone's going to be spontaneous and take action. Someone could have a little girl. Or you guys have a little girl together. But the sun energy is the masculine. It says divine masculine on here. Daytime. A victory, happiness, power, radiant, success, a climax, yes. And then the clover. You have nothing but luck on your side, Aries. Nothing but luck on your side, no matter what you decide. But for many of you guys, I can feel it. You want this. I'll pull on that real fast before we go. This is something that was short-lived in the past and you're being rewarded in so many ways, right? This is everything being shown to you at this time. Victories. This is just one of them, okay? This was a happy coincidence that you two met and you can uh, expect an unexpected rendezvous. All right. Spirit, just give me an overall before we go. So many loves. If this was your message. Claim it as yours. Like, subscribe if you're new here. Welcome to Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. You know, we're a pillar of light station. We're light warriors and star seeds and all the things. So welcome home. For Sag. A change in the wind. And then these just flew out loyal heart with never ending story for some of you guys right your person third party all the glitters wasn't gold they realize that they're, they love you they're loyal to you something you thought wasn't going to end or maybe did end it there's a change there's a change the here and now, and then higher powers. So the higher powers have called this in. Apparently you guys are very special. <laughs> you guys have work to do. Lightworkers, twin flames, soulmates. It's about the here and now. So this person in the here and now knows that this is a higher calling. This is a higher power. It's higher level union. And they want to kiss and make up is what I hear so yeah they're coming in for victory for their queen see beautiful so this is what I have my beautiful Aries I send you so much love so much light if you guys want to book a personal psychic session with me you can find the info down below 
That's also where you can find one of my handmade Reiki infused, uh, light language infused, sacred mantra infused, uh, cosmically charged, all the things you guys, uh, Lemurian seed, clear quartz, crystal, necklace pendants, you guys. Meant to hang around the vicinity of your heart chakra, solar chakra region, but heart chakra. So you can find all the info below. I love you guys. Thank you so much.